idle control units explained. If you have a 1980 through 85 W126 series Mercedes with a V8 engine, chances are you may have had problems with the idle control relay at some point in time. Some people call it an idle control module, some people call it an idle control unit, but it all does the same thing. It governs the reactions of the idle air valve to engine temperature. Uh, AC on or off, and of course, outside temperature. So the, uh, the idle control unit is going to be the topic of discussion in this video. We're going to go over symptoms and problems and how to possibly repair one that may be acting up. Anyway, the first thing you should know about the idle control units is that the 380 and 500 had different idle control units, and these part numbers also changed if they were European market cars or US cars. You can't replace one with another and get the exact same perfect result, and there were also different versions of the idle control valve. So the unit that we're using is one from a US 380 SE, but they all look visually the same. Now, if you have a 126, this is going to be located in between the first and second firewalls, just about center, maybe a little towards the battery. If you have a 107, however, it's going to be located behind the glove box insert against the inside of the firewall. So in a 107, it's a little harder to get to and it just lays flat. One of the biggest problems with these items is that the electrolytic capacitors deteriorate over the years. There are actually four of them, one, two, one, two, three, four. And if you're getting a situation where one minute your car is idling nicely at 550 RPMs in drive and adjusting for different inputs like air conditioning, then it seems to me like your idle control unit is working, but if it starts to mess with your idle and your idle jumps up one minute and idles at 1500 RPM or 1400 RPM and the next minute it's working right, you may have a problem with these electrolytic capacitors causing the problem to, uh, to, to show up sometimes and other times than at all. Now, if you flip this thing over, you can see a soldered grid. It's a good idea to go over this with a magnifying glass and see if you have any broken connectors. Now, I haven't seen broken solder joints very often, unlike what other people tend to say. I don't see them that much. But if you're in doubt, you can check it with, a, uh, with an ohmmeter between the, the pin and then the soldered area around it. Uh, a lot of the times, solder joints tend to fail here towards the power supply area rather than up here where all the circuit circuitry takes place. So you want to look further down towards the base. Now if you need another one of these, Programma and Beckman supply them rebuilt, of course. Mercedes hasn't had new ones in a long time, but they're a pretty robust part. VDO always made good electronics. They are extremely rebuildable. So I wouldn't shy away from rebuilding one. Now if you have a car, especially a, a U.S. market 380 SL or a 500 SE or SEL or a 380 SEL, especially an 84, 85 that uses the updated version of the OVP, the red top small overvoltage protection relay. These things can, these overvoltage protection relays can fail terminating power to the idle control unit. So you need to assess the condition of your OVP before you start playing around with this guy, especially if you have an 84 and 85. Earlier 126s and 107s had an OVP. It was a four pole ice cube relay. They can still go bad too, but they don't fail as often as the 84 and 85 version. And remember on a 107, it's above the fuse box and the kick panel. On a 126, it's in the fuse box next to the fuel pump relay. So for more questions about your idle control or how to repair this stuff, what goes wrong with it, what its applications are, please drop us a line. Don't forget to comment below with your questions. And if you haven't hit the bell for notifications yet, please do so. And if you're new to this channel, we would appreciate you liking, subscribing, and sharing these videos with other people you know who have classic Mercedes. 
Thank you so much. Enjoy driving your Mercedes Benz and consider supporting us on Patreon because we love to bring you this content and we'll be here for you if you are here to support us. Thanks.